Do you want to understand just how bad of a season Manchester United is having? United have a goal differential of minus three through the first half of the season. Only two teams in Premier League history have finished higher than fifth place with an actual goal differential at or below zero. By the way, all these table and stats I found by looking up the data on Football Ref's new tool called StatHead, but a little bit more on that later. Manchester United in 2021-22 actually finished with a goal differential of zero, and they finished in sixth place, which is the fourth highest placing of a team with a goal differential at or below zero. But maybe you're more a fan of the underlying stats and expected goal numbers. United currently have an expected goal difference of minus 2.7. And since expected goals have been tracked in 2017, no team has placed higher than 6th place with an expected goal difference at or below zero. Also, it's pretty funny to see Burnley in 2017 with an expected goal difference of minus 18.9, yet they still finished in 7th to get European competition. Kind of going on a tangent, but I thought this was so funny I had to look into it further. In all of Europe's top 5 leagues, only 4 teams have finished in 8th place with an expected goal difference at or below minus 15. Sean Dyke is truly incredible. But back to United. Their attack this season really hasn't been everything they had hoped for. And since data started being recorded in 2016, United have had their worst goals per shot ratio of 0 .07 goals per shot since 2016. And since that 2016 season, a team hasn't finished above 6th place in the league with a goals per shot ratio of 0 .07 or lower. And it's not like United have stopped taking shots either. They just haven't been able to take high quality shots that result in goals. United this season are averaging the third highest amount of shots per 90 of 14.5. In terms of key passes that lead directly to shots, they have 11.4 key passes per 90, which is their second best season since 2016. All of the signs are leading to United taking less quality shots, having poor finishing, and generally having a bad year so far. But finding the stats for this video would not be possible without the newest tool for searching football stats called StatHead. If you have ever used or heard of the site called Football Reference, you might have noticed or used their site if you have ever seen one of these player report cards. They're also called FB Ref for short, but they have launched their newest tool called StatHead, which makes it incredibly easy to find the most detailed and advanced soccer stats. StatHead and Football Reference was nice enough to partner with me for this video, but their newest tool StatHead is now at beta, free for a limited time with no credit card required. All you and I have to do to use their new tool is create a StatHead account. The way StatHead works is it's powered by the Football Reference Database, which is the most comprehensive public and free database on the planet. StatHead is basically a sports search engine for not only soccer stats, but they also include databases for baseball, American football, basketball, and hockey. I'll leave a link to StatHead in the description, and also a link to their tutorials on YouTube, where they give a better idea of how to use the StatHead platform. So here's an example of how I got the stats for this video. I wanted to find the highest Premier League finish for a team with an expected goal difference at or below zero. So first I chose the team single season finder for StatHead, which shows us a team that matches a single criteria. Then I wanted to sort by descending league rank. I actually made a mistake here because I wanted to find the highest league finish for a team with an expected goal difference at or below zero. Then I just had to change the league to the Premier League. And then for the stat criteria, I wanted to find the expected goal difference. And then I had to set the filter to at or below zero. So then it's easy enough to press the get results button. And like I said, I actually messed up on this first try. I sorted by descending, so it was showing us the reverse for the league rank. And I wanted to show who finished the highest. But it was as easy as clicking the criteria button, changing it to ascending, and clicking the get results button again. And there is the list that I used in this video. And StatHead makes it really easy to filter and search and find stats just like this. For me personally, StatHead is the greatest soccer tool that has ever been released since the site Football Reference itself was founded. If a crazy event or stat happens in a match, you can easily look up if it's happened before. And even the StatHead Twitter account regularly posts examples like this on their Twitter. It's the easiest and largest free database of data that I've ever used, and it has helped me easily find unique stats that I use to make or inspire most of my videos. In the past, you would have had to search through tons of pages of data and combine it in your own database or your own Excel doc, but StatHead makes it easy to find every team or player and every stat that you could ever need. The only downside to this platform is this hide criteria button, which is kind of a stupid complaint, but sometimes I forget to click it on the edit my stats and I accidentally hit the backwards key on Chrome and it messes up my search. StatHead is really good for any journalists, content creators, or even fans who like to discuss unique stats on Twitter like myself. I would definitely give it a shot while it's still in beta and free to use. Thank you again to the StatHead team for sponsoring this video.